Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually back with our submarine, as you guys can see. Uh, this thing right here is actually almost done, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it is pretty much ready for the, uh, the workshop. I got to this stage before in some of my projects, and I've decided that, uh... I don't know, I don't want to continue with them, if that makes sense. Uh, I, I know this happens to a lot of people that play Stormworks, um, and what usually happens is you sort of move on to a different project. Unfortunately for me, um, it is actually sort of impossible to do that without telling you guys, if that makes sense. Um, I kind of need to finish my projects at least to an alright standard before putting them on the workshop, and honestly, this is almost there. Um, but yes, I think we're gonna actually upload this to the workshop after this one, and then we might actually start another project. With that being said, the next project is probably gonna be a ship of some sort, or maybe an airliner or something like that. I might do a little vote, and you guys can, uh, can tell me what you want to see. Anyway, today, let's go ahead and add some modifications to this thing, try and make it a little bit better before we upload it, and we'll go from there. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it. Okay, so after that really long intro, we actually are going to go ahead and modify the uh, the actual engine bit of this. When I say the engine bit, I actually just mean the uh, this bit, the uh, the reactor. That's what I mean. Uh, we're going to increase this to 180 degrees instead of 150, and we're also going to come up with a mechanism that makes this go out or in depending on the temperature of the water inside. Uh, that way, we can actually moderate how hot it gets and make sure that we're not wasting stuff. Okie dokie, so for this we're gonna go ahead and add ourselves a switch box, there we go. This is gonna control this guy right here, and the other thing that we actually need to do is uh, connect this, uh, which is the button, uh, to this as well. So it all has to happen at the same time, uh, and probably actually automatically. So let's go ahead and get rid of this really quickly, and delete this guy right here. Just fill that in, there we go, good. We're gonna get rid of this guy as well, and yeah, so... What we need to do is get another grater then, go ahead and shove it on there, and essentially this is going to go into here, which is going to connect to that. It's also going to connect to each and every one of these, uh, so that we can detach it if we need to, which sometimes we do, sometimes we don't need to, uh, and that'll be okay. There we go, good. So, let's go ahead and try and get the temperature of the inside of this. I don't know how to get the temperature of it, actually. Uh, we'll just go off of this rod temperature right here. And that should be fine. Okay, so if that value is over 180, it should uh, retract, and if it is under 180, it should go back in. This might become a bit of an issue because it might actually be going in and out, in and out, in and out, but I'm not sure until we can actually test it. So let's go ahead and see what happens with this. Oh, I, I forgot to actually do the thing, didn't I? I did, I forgot to do the thing. So this guy actually needs to be uh, do, 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 one when switched on, and then zero when off. So when it's switched on, it'll go in. And then actually it needs to be minus one went off, so that it actually retracts. Actually, minus 0. I don't know, minus 0. 0.3. Let's go with that. So it does actually retract, but kind of slowly. That'll be good. Alright, so they can't actually be on the same thing, because otherwise it wouldn't actually work. Also, the other thing is, I don't know whether it's actually activating the things when they go in, uh, when it actually shouldn't be, if that makes any sense. So I think they might be activated now when they shouldn't be. Um, and therefore this isn't actually heating up, I don't think. Yes, the, uh, the value on this is zero. So at the minute this isn't actually doing anything, and, uh, the reason being is because they're not turning on. Um, at least I don't think they are anyway, so maybe... What is this connected to? What is that actually connected to? It's connected to this. So if this, uh, if this value, this temperature, is greater than or less than 150, this will turn on. But actually... Um, that shouldn't be a thing. No. Uh, so it actually has to be greater than. If that value is greater than that, then it'll turn this off, if that makes sense. So actually, this, uh, can be controlled by this, I guess? There you go, so that connects to there. And then this one actually needs to be a greater than. And then it will work, I think. So connect this to each of these. There we go, connect A, so value to compare, which is, I guess, the middle of that, to one of these. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There you go, so if that's 180, then it will detach. Um, okay, now it should work fine. Okay, so let's get inside now and see what this is actually doing. Actually, first, let's go ahead and turn on the lights, because we don't have any lights just yet. 
go downstairs. I might also actually add some more uh, hatches, because obviously we need to get down here somehow. We still need to add bilge pumps everywhere, so this room could be a bilge pump area. Uh, we then could actually add some bilge pumps in here too, because we have all this space on the roof. Uh, and this is actually working now. Okay, good. So, essentially, we need to make sure that this uh, will come back out if it gets too hot, and then go back in when it gets too cold. Um, and keep making us power. That's what it needs to do. Okay, this is what I thought might happen. It is very, very loud. <laughs> it's so loud. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what was happening there was it was going above and then below uh, really, really quickly. And that was actually activating it and deactivating it extremely quickly as well, which is, of course, a bit of an issue. Now, I'm not entirely sure what I do about that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, that was bad. That was really bad. Um, yeah, hang on. Insertion target, where is that? That's actually on here. So, do 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 do, X400, interesting. Um, so, I, I think we stick with what we currently had, or what we already had, so that'll do its job. That does work, so that is actually okay, but it might explode eventually. I don't know. Let's go with 200 instead. I don't think it'll explode on 200, but I could be wrong. Uh, it's just whenever the pressure of this actually gets too high, it needs to cool down. But if we control the temperature, that should be okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and just leave that as is. That is fine. Uh, what a waste of time. Actually, quite a big waste of time, but that's okay. So, let's go backwards on the submarine a little bit and try and figure out where else we can actually have um, a bit of a staircase or whatever. I think um, it being in the middle right here is probably a bad idea, but at the same time, we will be able to do it. So, I don't actually see a problem with it, which might be weird to you guys, but I don't see an issue with this, uh, as long as we fill it back in. So, let's go ahead and get ourselves a ladder. Here we go. Uh, we'll grab it in this color instead of anything else, and we will just shove it on this side, like so, all the way up to there. Except at the top, we then need to add a hatch uh, that should hopefully work as well. So, go ahead and shove this guy onto here, like so. Uh, whammo, there we go, good. And then essentially all we need to do is paint that like so, and we should be able to climb up into there. Uh, the next thing that I want to do as well is actually delete these guys right here. Grab ourselves a new door and shove it on there like so. Just so that we can actually uh, have that bit secured a little bit more, which again makes sense. Okay, I'm actually looking down the side of this thing and I'm seeing that there is nothing in there uh, except these pipes right here. So what I might actually do is introduce a few more torpedoes. I, I think it's like the best, you know, it's for the best. So let's go ahead and grab this all the way from there, all the way to the front right here. Grab it all the way into here and send it actually all the way through into that wall right there. We're then gonna go ahead and copy this. We're gonna move it backwards until we are not interrupting anything, which is about here. And we're gonna paste it back in. That seems very strange, but that is what we're gonna do. We're then gonna go ahead and do this on the other side also, clearly. So let's go ahead and put this guy right here like this. Merge these guys together so this can go with this. And that is awesome. The only thing we need to do now is actually put a bit of a floor in. So that we don't, uh, I don't know, accidentally sink it by accident. Accidentally sink it by accident. Uh, so we can do this all the way to the front end. Uh, around here, that's good. And then we can actually go from here upwards to there. And that is everything. So now we have... Four more torpedoes. Actually, yeah, four more torpedoes. So eight overall. That is actually quite a lot of torpedoes, uh, to be totally honest with you guys. And I think I'm happy with it, to be honest. That's pretty cool. Um, in order to actually launch these torpedoes then, I don't think I want it from this section. I probably want it from an actual, like, computer bit. Uh, but I don't know where to actually do that from. So instead of this guy in the front actually being here, I might move that down into the pump room. And then we can actually use the pump room for something, you know? Because at the minute, it's not really being used for very much. So, let's go ahead and add two little seats in here. Uh, and one's going to be for the uh, anti-aircraft rockets. And then the other one is going to be for um, the torpedoes. Actually, no. I feel like it all should be in the same room. Like, it all should be in the command room right here. But we don't really have enough room for it. We really don't. So, let's go ahead and delete these guys right here. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are going to be eight separate buttons uh, for us to control to actually launch the torpedoes. So there's one, two. Let's go ahead and keep this going. Three, four, five, six, seven, oh, seven and eight. We're also going to delete this right here to open the hatches, and that's going to be good. Open, 
Torpedo hatches. There we go. Good. So that's there. Uh, torpedo fire. Torpedo one. Okay. And then we're going to go through all of these. And this is how we're going to fire the torpedoes. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, hang on. Five. Yes. Okay. Uh, six. Seven. And eight. There we go. Nice. Okay. So that is actually quite a lot uh, right there. We're going to go ahead and shove this guy right here so we can do it. Uh, and that's going to be fine. So let's go ahead and connect this to open up all the hatches. And then we'll go from there. This is uh, a little bit crazy. I'm not going to lie. Um, so what are all these connected to? They're all connected to this. So let's go ahead and connect this to each of these guys back here. We then need to give these guys some electricity as well so that they do actually work. And then we need to connect them all to buttons as well. Um, because I, I feel like that just makes sense. So there you go. Each of those are connected. Very good. We're then going to have to connect all of the torpedoes to each of these. Uh, but first, this needs to be connected to here. That's good. We're then going to connect all the torpedoes. So one is going to be the one on the left. Uh, this guy right here. Two is going to be the one on the right. So I'm going to do that next. And then I'm going to go through each of them doing this all the way backwards. And that's going to be cool. Okay, so uh, apparently I've uh, I've messed up a little bit here. I don't know how I've done this because I don't think I changed very much. <laughs> I really don't think I changed very much, but I must have somewhere. Uh, and that's actually made us leak. Oh, it's this bit. Okay, so this actually needs uh, attaching to there. There we go. So we don't sink anymore. And then we need to do the same bit on this side, but I believe that's already done. So now if we spawn it in... It won't be underwater, I guess? Possibly? Question mark? I don't know. Uh, yes, it is not underwater. Let's go ahead and check if all of those torpedoes actually work. Um, and yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. We can then pretty much just upload this to the workshop, to be honest. So, open the... Okay, I don't think we can upload it to the workshop like this. I feel like there's a bit of an issue. <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, this might be a little bit laggy. I don't know whether you guys can tell, but um, apparently all of the weapons on our submarine blowing up at the same time uh, is actually not a good thing for your computer, uh, it turns out. So that's good. <laughs> Look at it. That is a mess. All right, so I'm not actually entirely sure what, is, uh, what happened there. I don't understand why it would explode like that. Uh, considering it is all, uh, all normal. Actually, I do understand. I know why. Um, because these pieces right here are actually separate entities, which is odd. Uh, and it's gonna happen on this one as well. So there's one, two, three, uh, and four, and five. There we go. So that's all of those. Uh, and hopefully we've done that on the other side. We haven't. So we actually need to go through each of these. Uh, and delete, I, I guess like four bits, I think. So one, two, three. No, four and five. Okay, five bits. We're then going to do the same thing right here. Because I, I think this was an issue before. One, two, three, uh, four, five. No, okay, hang on. This is too many. This is too many. Okay, I think that's actually it. Okay, let's test it now and see what happens. Okay, careful. Go! There we go. All of the torpedo doors have opened successfully. Okay, very nice. We're then going to launch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight torpedoes are a go. Oh, yikes. <laughs> I did think that one might be a bit of an issue. So, because they come from behind us and they go forwards, they actually travel into ourselves. So, we might actually have two buttons here. We might have a, uh, a door hatch for the front four and then a door hatch for the back four. That seems to make sense, actually. Okay, so this time it should be a little bit better. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and open up the front ones and then we'll open up the back ones and that should be good. So, inside we get. There we go. Go ahead and do this. Uh, if we want to open up the front ones, we just press this button. There we go. Opens up the front ones. We can then launch four torpedoes. There we go. We can then close the front ones. Turn all these off. Uh, for some reason, that one hasn't closed. That's strange. What's all that? Oh my goodness. Wait, what is that? I think I've glitched the game out. That's a bunch of uh, flashlights and binoculars. That's weird. That's very strange. Anyway, go ahead and push this and push it again. See if that one closes. This one seems to be glitched out. Don't know why. Uh, we're then going to open up the rear ones. Oh, that's annoying because that's the one that bugged us out last time. I'm then going to launch these and see what happens. Yeah, so... Oh, it actually happened on the other side this time. How very strange. How very, very strange. Look at that. There's our escape hatch. Escape pod on the top. 
Weird. Um, but yes, okay, the rear torpedoes are having a few issues. That's actually kind of annoying. Um, what we could do is actually go through these, find the warheads, and their impact sensor could either be on a delay, or we could actually have it be a little bit higher than it currently is. Uh, so that it still explodes, but doesn't explode so easily. Okay, because at the minute, it's exploding very easily. Alright, go to the other side. Grab this guy, go ahead and go to 10. Go rear, go to, oh, go to the back, back, back side. Grab this one, go to 10. There we go, go backwards a little bit more, go to 10. And then backwards from there, we're gonna go to 10 again, there we go. Alright, let's see if this works. Okay, so let's go ahead and push this button right here. Go ahead and open up the front hatches. One, two, three, four. There we go. Send those. Go ahead and close the hatches. For some reason, this one is broken. And that one is broken. I don't know what's going on with these. Actually, that doesn't make any sense. Why is that happening? No! Why is that happening? That makes no sense. It's like closing too far. There must be like a block in there somewhere that's stopping that one. Uh, and on the other side, I don't know what's happening there either. Anyway, open this. Go ahead and send all of these. Okay, didn't blow me up that time, so that's good. Uh, and now we got more torpedoes. Nice. Okay, so um, I'm going to sort this out a little bit more. I'm going to fix it up a little bit more, add a little bit more detail, and then I'll upload it to the workshop, and you guys can check it out for yourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching these videos. I appreciate it so much. Sorry that it isn't actually as, details as, as detailed as it could be, I suppose. Um, but honestly, I find submarines very difficult. Um, I... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've done um, as much as I can with this. At least for my own enjoyment anyway, because, uh, you know, I want to enjoy what I'm building. Uh, and I think we've made it look nice. I think we've made it work somewhat well. Um, and it doesn't explode itself anymore from the inside, so that's good. The reactor still works. Um, and it's, it's not too bad. Um, there is still more that could be added, but you guys can definitely modify it yourselves if you want to. And uh, do what you want with it. But anyway, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.